Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy you took some time to stop by today. Today I'm here with a tag video. I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't done ah, a tag video in quite some time. This is a concept that was started by Amelia Rose's Closet and what it is, it's the top five luxury bags that we're currently obsessed with. And then Gwenny and Winnie, uh, Winnie BLV, decided to, well, asked Amelia, and they decided to turn this into a tag. I got tagged by Winnie BLV, and now since then there's already been quite a few people who have posted videos on this uh, topic. So I wanted to join in because it is so much fun, and I definitely have five bags that I want to share that I really am obsessed with. Um, I will be linking in little footage of them so you have a visual of what I'm talking about, what they look like. Um, but I definitely have some bags that are on my mind and I really wish I could afford to buy, but I can't. And there is one honorable mention that I'm adding at the end because that is a bag that I am obsessed with, but that I can afford. <laughs> so, and that I'm just waiting to get. Um, so let's begin. So the first one is by Fendi and it is the Baguette Midi with chain strap. And it is the most glorious Napa leather. I recently saw it in store, got to touch it, got to feel it, got to try it on. Ah, <laughs> I love it so much, so much. I'm definitely on a Fendi obsession right now. Um, but this bag is just classic and I, I saw it in the light gray. I tried it on in the light gray I fell in love with the light gray. It's absolutely stunning um, With the gold hardware. It's light. It's the most soft leather I have ever felt in my hands in my life Yet, you know squishy. It's the perfect size. The midi is the perfect size to me It's smaller than the regular baguette and yet bigger than that mini um and I just love the chain concept of just being able to wear it on your shoulder or crossbody. And it's not a long crossbody, mind you. So if, a, if, I'm name, if, I was, blah, if I was to wear a big parka or something, I, I wouldn't be able to wear that crossbody. But um, I probably wouldn't wear that in the winter anyway. Um, I would want to protect that leather. Oh my. But um, it, it, it sits up pretty high, but I liked it. It looked really cute on. Um, I fell in love with it. And another combo color that I liked in this style is the multicolor striped with the light pink, the white, the yellow, that mustard yellow. Oh, it's so pretty. And that deeper pink and that deep dark purple. Um, I just love it. And there's something like kind of 70s vibe with it. I don't know, retro. Um, I just really, 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 really love that bag. So between the two, the light gray, I mean, the light gray I love, like I think it's so classic and easy, but I'd probably go for the striped, I think. I love it. It's just beautiful. Um, so that's the Fendi. And then I just wanted to add a little Fendi baguette here that I love from the Fendachi collaboration in this black leather with the gold uh, safety pins. It's the mini size and that hot, hot pink interior. I love that bag. And if I would have been able to afford it, I would have bought that bag during the, the Findachi launch because I just love it. It's, it's kind of edgy, yet super classy um, or classic, might I say, but obsessed. So Fendi Baguette in the midi size particularly with the chain strap, obsessed. Second of all, Hermes. So I'm a big Hermes fan. Um, those who've been following me for a little bit know I love Hermes and one day I definitely wanna get an Hermes bag. And if I could, I would get an Hermes Constance. Why? Um, because it's just the kind of bag that I think would really fit my lifestyle. It's simple. Um, so you can wear it shoulder, you can wear it crossbody. It's not a chain, it's a, it's a leather strap. 
Um, it's that kind of compact size that I love, kind of like my portobellos, if you will, but in a square format. Um, it has that beautiful H buckle on the front. I'm not sure what color I would go for. I think I would probably, if I could, go for the gold, the classic gold color, which is like a tan leather, like a light brown. Um, I'd probably go for something classic like that with the gold hardware. I think it would really be really, really a beautiful contrast. Um, easy to wear, all season. Um, and it's just such a fabulous bag. So yeah, realistically, if I could get an Hermes bag, that would be that would be the one. So obsessed, have been obsessed by that bag for a very long time. And I don't see that obsession going away until I actually get that bag one day. So true love, what can I say? Number three, okay. <laughs> Number three is my unicorn bag. There's no doubt about it. It is the most Maria bag I have ever seen in my life. And it is by Dior. And it is the Lady um, ABC Dior Canage bag in this beautiful metallic gold Canage leather, lambskin leather, with the heart quilting. So it's metallic and gold. So you already got my heart there. It's a small Lady Dior, perfect size. And it has the heart canage. It's hearts. <laughs> it's hearts. And I love anything that Dior does with hearts. I mean, that bag right there is the heart canage print. I'm obsessed with it. It is extremely expensive. Um, there's no way I could buy that at this point in my life. But I love it. <laughs> Obsessed. If I were to win the lottery or something drastic changed in my financial situation and I'd be able to buy it, I would in a heartbeat. I love it. So, um, obsessed? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I am obsessed with that, with that bag. I love it. <laughs> Number four. Bottega Veneta, and it is the Mini Jodi. I've talked about the Mini Jodi before in a wish list, probably. I love the Mini Jodi, and I really, really, really love it in the cranberry color, which is this nice, beautiful, deep pink. I also saw it recently in store, and I fell even more in love with it seeing it in person. I do like the P, um, the, oh, what's it called? The Parakeet parakeet green yes um i really like the parakeet parakeet green as well it's like a bright bright green but i know realistically i would go with the cranberry pink it's just so pretty and it's just a really cute little handheld bag and i was kind of hesitated about it and then when gwenny got her little um i like to call it a little dumpling bag um it's so cute and so it really made me Think, yes you know what yes ma'am yes sir I could totally wear that bag the mini Jody so yeah mini Jody in the cranberry pink obsessed and would love to get that one day I think that would be a really fun little summer spring summer bag wouldn't be all year spring summer probably um, I'm speechless I just love it and I would love a piece of Bottega Veneta in my collection one day a girl can dream, right? And number five is by Salvatore Ferragamo. And um, it is this Gancini bag in the olive green. It's the most adorable little top handle, kind of Kelly-esque, very Mayfair-esque. I just, I love it. I love a top handle bag. I think those of you who have followed me for a little bit and, and have seen kind of an idea of what my collection looks like, it's a lot of top handle bags. I love them. Um, I love that, you know, Alma-esque or Kelly-esque um, shape. And this olive green is so beautiful. And I've been really into Salvatore Fergamo for a little bit. I've been very, very um, 
intrigued and interested in a lot of things in shoes in a lot of their bags they're absolutely beautiful and that olive green is so so nice and it looks like a nice a nice size it's, it's a little bit bigger than what i normally have which would be a really good thing to have in my collection something a little bit different um it's stunning it's really really beautiful i love it i'm, I'm obsessed i really really love it and then my honorable mention, uh, this is a piece that I definitely consider to be luxury and that I definitely want to add to my collection uh, fairly soon. And it is by Aspinall of London because yes ma'am, yes sir, I consider Aspinall of London to be luxury. And it is the Midi Mayfair, so same style as that, but in the cloud color, so that light gray. I saw it when I was in London. I hesitated between the cloud and the black. I don't regret having the black at all. It's a classic and I've worn it a lot. It's probably now my favorite bag in my collection. I adore that bag. And so I know without a doubt that I love it and I want to get that light gray. And I'm just waiting for Aspinall to have a promo, which I'm assuming, I'm estimating should be coming up sometime in the next month or two um i mean we'll see <laughs> i'm crossing my fingers a girl can dream but i want to pick that up that gray cloud midi mayfair oh. and i think it will be really um year round you know and i know i can wear it i at first i was hesitating with the mayfair thinking oh it's just such a dressy bag but I've been rocking it with jeans. I mean, you can wear it with anything. It just works. That croc, I didn't realize, is so easy to wear and to style. And so the light gray, I feel, will be able to look great all year round. I think it'll be a beautiful bag, even in the winter. Um, and so I really, really want to get it. It's like the most perfect neutral color. So there you go. Those are the bags I am obsessed with and have been obsessed with, with uh, for a long time. <laughs> as soon as I saw them, basically, I've become obsessed with these pieces. So make sure to check the description box below because I will be linking um, Amelia Rose's closet video I'll, and channel. I'll be linking Winnie B. LV's video and channel. I will be tagging some people down below, so check that description box. I'll be linking all the bags I talked about so that you can go check them out. And let me know. Let's have a chat in the conversation. What are the bags or pieces that you're currently obsessed with? I would love to know. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do like my videos and haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. I love my little group here, my my growing group, and I, I just love everyone that I'm talking with, and to me, you're all my friends. I mean, I care for you. I truly, truly do, so I'm grateful for every single person uh, who watches my videos. Honestly, it means the world to me. So on that note, thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Big hugs.